What's up guys? So today I gotta go do some scuba diving, but I'm not really gonna go scuba diving for lost treasure or somebody's lost items or shark sheets or anything like that. I'm going scuba diving for golf balls. I've got a little side business where I recondition golf balls and well, stock is getting pretty low. So I've already got the boat and everything hooked up to the car. About to go swing by, pick up my dad, and we're heading to the lake. Got everything loaded up in the boat, about to back it down, and we're gonna get everything set in. Y'all like to meet my old man right here. How you doing? Finna throw this boat in the water. We're gonna go ahead and get headed straight to the spot. Last time I went out here fishing with a boat, I was having some problems with the motor with fuel issues. We've got the whole fuel system completely flushed out, so maybe the boat's gonna be running right for us today. Golly, right into the trolling motor. Which way we headed? We're heading under the bridge. And then under the other bridge and all the way to the side of the lake. Oh, uh, we're having the same problems. Piece of junk. You got plenty of pressure on the bulb to not restrict it from the tank. Let it run a minute. Yeah, I let it run for four hours with no change last oh, time though. <laughs> yeah. I've flushed the whole system out since then. My dad's been keeping the water temperature here a secret because he done turned off the depth finder. I'm ready to see how cold it is. 63 degrees, that ain't too bad. That ain't bad at all, 63.8, so yeah, yeah. All right, let's get this other anchor and throw it off the back. Oh, hey, just to let you know, this spot, they tee off right there. They hit over the water to there. Oh. Yeah, so they kind of hit right over us. We can't be in the way. Uh, a lot of people like to use us as targets right here. It's pretty uh, funny. They try to hit us. We've had one guy actually hit the boat. Well, it's way too early for them. They'll yeah, that's why we come out here during the week when ain't a whole bunch of people here. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get suited up and get ready to jump in the water. Let's see how cold it really is. No, I'm still hot. <laughs> this suit's warm. So when I'm underwater, I have the bag just kind of hangs right there in front of me. I just take the balls, just throw them right down. They hit this little flap, and I'll fill up this whole bag. Then once it's full, come back, and we'll dump it back to it. And laid yourself open. Yeah, cut the finger open already. All right, good luck. Let's go get some golf balls. All right. And there we are at the bottom. Visibility today is pretty terrible. There we go. There's our first one of the day. Let's get up here with a little bit more shallow. Should start seeing a bunch more if nobody else has been here cleaning up this spot. Oh yeah, here we go. Found a bunch of them now. Got here, still got a big pipe. Cold golf balls. Oh, 
the predator made too. I haven't seen this ball before. Ching, ching, ching. Hear the sound of fish. They're everywhere. There's a good bit of them out here. Well, that's good. How many you grabbed already? No, very well. Must have been by here already. Looks not, because there's a bunch of balls right here. Alright guys, back on the boat now. Got a decent little container full, but we can go get some more. Not fun diving when your sinuses are all stopped up. It hurts. Oh, here, drum. Gotta take it. Yeah, just gotta take it. Well, probably can't wear those. I don't have a GoPro mount on this, so we're just gonna see if this works. We'll hop in the water, see if we can get some more golf balls. There I go! Alright, let's go! Alright, that's the wall! Oh, the wall! Thing come loose. I had another full bag, but of course, could about dump them all in the water. <laughs> had to go down and get them, but. I'm still having a lot of issues with my nose, so I can't go deep, so I'm not getting a whole lot. So let's go ahead and head back to the house. If y'all want to see some of these balls cleaned up, a lot of these have some really cool designs, so hang tight with me. As soon as we get back to the house, I'll show you the whole process of cleaning them up. 
And we'll see if we can find some good ones. Let's go ahead and get these and bring them over there to the ball washer. Ooh! You can see I got some that I've already ran and well this is all I got from today. I think this thing's still got some water in her. Oh yeah, good to go. Let's run these through a couple times and see if we can get them clean. All right, let's get everything set up here. I know, Bailey. So let's get this thing powered up. All right, let's see what we can do with them. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yeah, that cleaned up real nice. That's a cool tailor made right there. Go ahead and shut it down. First run, I normally soak all these balls in bleach for about 24 hours before I run them through the wash. But we'll just go ahead and see if we can clean up a couple and take a look in here. Oh, look at there. What color is that? Pink. At least you know. Ooh. LS Hockey. E. Reynolds Alexander Jr. There's a Georgia Tech Titleist. I've seen, nice. a, seen a vice hiding down in here. Where'd that go? Orion's Family Foundation. Ooh. Some kind of bird. He's got a flag. That's a really clean ball there. You want to run them again? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right, watch out. Number one. America. America. Oh, let's see if we dump the whole thing. Oh yeah, much easier that way. Another Georgia Bulldog ball. I get a lot of those. At least they hit them in the water. Yeah, see something like that. If it's real dirty, take it, push it against. Whoa. Comes off, it takes a little bit of time, but soaking these things overnight really makes a big difference on all this stuff coming off. Heck yeah. I know that one five gallon bucket of balls equals about 300, so we'll just run them through again and fill up the bucket. All right, so there's 300 right there. Looking like I'm only gonna get two five gallon buckets full today. That's it. All right, two buckets. So I ended up with 600 balls today, which ain't great, but it's not that bad. So I ain't gonna complain. That's still, I'll probably make close to around 450 bucks out of all of these right here after I clean them up and sell them. Uh, appreciate y'all following along today while I go on a little diving adventure with my dad. And if you like what you see or you like this kind of content, don't forget. Like and subscribe. All right, catch y'all in the next one.